the Sharp booth here at uh, each and uh, who are you? My name is Bob Ishida. I'm uh, EVP and uh, EVP of Sharp Corporation, as well as the uh, CEO of Sharp Europe. So uh, there was a, just a keynote right now, and you were talking about Sharp is back. Yes. Uh, is this because you work together with Foxconn now? You you were starting a new business, or what is going on? Well, actually, you know, we were absent at Efar in the last five years, and uh, you know, we were actually licensing that brand to a company called UMC in Europe for TVs, but. You know, we bought the majority of the company and uh, we are actually ready to start our own business uh, in a European market. And that's why we say we are back here and we are actually not only for TVs, but we are also trying to expand our business on other product categories like uh, premium SDA, uh, audio products and smartphones. Because Sharp is, uh, is an awesome and big company, right? But uh, there was some, um, uh, I mean, it's public. There were some money problems in the last few years or and years ago? Or? Yes, uh, you know, actually, um, Sharp has been a very uh, big difficulty in the last several years uh, in terms of managing the company and also, you know, money-wise, of course. So that's the reason why uh, we accepted the investment from, uh, you know, company Foxconn Group, Honghai Group. And, uh, you know, um, we are actually very quickly turning around the company right now. Is one of the reasons, is, is it, can we walk over there? Sure. Is it because it's very difficult to, to make this amazing technology? It's very expensive sometimes to invest in display technology like that. It's huge amount of billions and billions of uh, investment, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's just look over here. Um, at, as yeah, part of the keynote, good. you were talking about you're launching 8K display in Europe. Right. Very, very, very soon. Yes. And already this year in Japan and China? Well, starting October in China, and then followed by Japan and Taiwan and Europe. And Europe, actually, it's in March. And this is it. This is the 8K display, 70 inch. Yes. Is real? Yes. Uh, I've been doing 8K videos with Sharp for several years now, but this is going to be commercially available very, very soon. Right. And uh, affordable. Yes. But affordable is still expensive, right? Uh, it's around, you know, 8,000 some or euro. So it's 8K for 8K dollars. Yeah. Right, uh, euros. Euros. Euros right now. And uh, it's, it's mind-blowing, right? It, it, if people buy a Panasonic GH5, they can film 6K video. There's no, there's no TV other than this one to see it, right? Right. And there's going to be more and more. And at the keynote, you were saying that Sharp also will do 8K cameras? Yes, we are thinking. Actually, um, we're trying to be a company who can actually provide end-to-end -end solutions on this 8K ecosystem. So, um, because it, it's like really shocking to, if, if I could see my family in 8K, I would faint, I think. It's like, it's something, it's like they're, something they're special. There. It's like they are there, right? It's like, uh, and, and, and many people have uh, 32 megapixel cameras already. Yeah, yeah. And so for the, for the um, pictures, mm -hmm. that's already easy to get the 8K content, right? Correct. But now we need cameras, right? Correct. And Sharp is going to do something, and there's other companies, many Japanese companies, they're going to... Well, we are expecting the other companies also, you know, do this 8K or ecosystem cameras. or cameras, whatever. Yeah. Because, you know, Sharp cannot be the only company who does this. But we also have to have, you know, some of our competitors joining in the market so that we can actually grow the market all together. This is so beautiful, so awesome. I wish it was a little bit cheaper than 8K, <laughs> but it's going to come, right? Yes. And uh, there's Tokyo 2020. Uh, by 2020, everybody will afford to buy 8K? Well, we're expecting more than, you know, 50% of the people who are buying larger than 60-inch TV will buy 8K. At 2020? In 2020. It's very soon. It's like so soon, very, right. very soon. Right. And you, you say also that you're launching, if you can go over here. Uh, this is... I think, I think this is the future of the smartphone. And you say you're going to launch smartphone in Europe. Are you going to launch Robohan in Europe? Um, we don't have a plan yet. And, uh, you know, but Robohon has been in the Japanese market for quite a long time already. And, uh, How you know, popular is it? It's a popular product. 
but it's quite expensive. In Japan, also expensive still. Uh, yes, it's, it's a, not the same price as it's iPhone. It's around, it's around two hundred thousand, or oh, it's even more expensive than iPhones. A little bit more, no? No, no, no. A, a much more? Yeah. Much more. Uh, two hundred thousand. How many euros euro is this? Oh, Which zero. is, uh, okay. let's see. Or is one thousand euro? No. No, one thousand six hundred. One thousand six. So it's double the price of iPhone. Right. Because it's so cool. Yes. But uh, you know, people get money on a subscription, you know, and there's all these these ways people could get it. And people who buy and it actually, that, the, the important thing is that we are also providing some you know application software is that in the Japanese market, uh, which is not available in Europe yet. So if we have if you if we are thinking about selling this kind of product in Europe, we also have to have our own software platform in a European market. Do you know how to trigger it? As part of uh, it, it has all these amazing features. Uh, I think if you could just connect to Google Assistant, you know, or Alexa, Amazon, yeah. you could sell to all the world, not only in Japan. Right? That's a possibility, yes. And uh, the software platform that Shop is doing or Shop is developing is uh, pretty flexible so that the, the engine can be Google, engine can be, you know, or, or voice recognition engine I'm talking about, yeah. can be Google, can be um, Amazon, or can be Shop Origin. So, all right.